this is the inaugural Slothcast. It's a podcast. It's a comedic podcast about topics and pretty much anything we want it to be about. Shit will get done eventually. Shit will get done eventually. That's why it's Slothcast, because I'm not in any hurry. Exactly. <laughs> I'm Sticky Bones Davis. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise known as the Bearded Ron Jeremy. The Bearded Ron Jeremy. To my right is the only female in the room. They had to have a vagina to even things out. Yes. Too much dick spoils the whole soup. <laughs> That's true. As we, all know. <laughs> As we all know from our topic this evening, which yeah. will be the friend zone. Yeah, we're going to talk about the friend zone tonight. This is D over here to my right. Mr. Nope is in front of me. And Vag Patch. Vag <laughs> Patch. Vag Patch, look at that. I just, I just want to put peanut butter on it. I know. It's, I just, it it's looks good. like it's it, great. you could make out with Hitler and your guys' facial hair would <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'd be like a stripe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. <laughs> and then just the fuck with him, I'd tell him I'm Jewish. Yeah. After <laughs> you pull out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright, before we get to the topic, have you guys played the Dead Space 3? Demo yet? No. Oh my god. I've seen some of it. Have you seen it? Yeah. What'd you think? I thought it was pretty good. Dude, I love the second one, the first one. I watched Anthony play the first one. Did you? Play. Yeah. I didn't Anthony play. Anthony Walmart? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Because I thought that's the only Anthony we both know. Yeah. Unless you were talking about my boss. Nah. <laughs> I just know him by reputation. <laughs> just for reputation. Yeah. That's how I know Mr. Dope. Is by <laughs> yeah, reputation. Mr. Dope. It's like he's like Mr. Hercule, only not as fun. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh no! <laughs> no, stop that. <laughs> That's exactly what women tell him, which is why we're talking about the friend zone. <laughs> He's a resident expert. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Mr. Nope is our resident expert in the friend zone. I really am. So we're gonna let you get started. How do you feel about the friend zone? Familiar. <laughs> Familiar. <laughs> what about you? Uh, oh fuck! I don't remember what I called you now. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> Vag patch. This is good. The name. Swan trail. The name. (laughs) It's like a worm. (laughs) Worm just crawling on. (laughs) The snail. Uh, The names are going to change, but the people will remain the same. Yeah, we're we're going to have different names every time, just Uh, because it's far more fun than. I like how she just got an initial D. Yeah, she just D. My initials are catchy. That's why. I just thought you called her Dean. Dean! Yeah. She Dean. is a character from Supernatural. I'm a Winchester. She's a Winchester. Saving people, hunting things. The family business. That's yes. the family business. You know what else is the family business? Strudel. 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 We make the shit out of some strudel over there. Yeah, it's dude. right next to the meth kit. It's the strudel. <laughs> the meth kit. <laughs> 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 I didn't watched an episode of Breaking <laughs> Bad. Yeah. You, you guys have walked into an episode of Breaking Bad. Here in a minute. <laughs> the old man's going to come out. <laughs> In his underwear. <laughs> just start <laughs> cooking crystal bath 30 feet from. Hey, <laughs> man. I think he's going to tell you boring war stories. Yeah. And- <laughs> the fish was this big, guys. So, just because the podcast doesn't know, we're talking about my dad, who happens to be in the other room, and he has this story that he tells every chance he gets. He went fishing. And he caught a fish, and the fish jumped out of the water and snapped at him. And my mother didn't believe him, so they went back, and my mom caught the same fish. And he tells the story to everybody he meets. Every time. Every single time. Every single person. He can meet you on the street. Ironically enough, I've not heard that story. You've not heard that story. That's the siren song. I've already, I have heard it. I have heard it, though, now. (laughs) That's the siren song. He will emerge from his cocoon. He's just sit here and tell you that story. You remember that horrible Godzilla that they made for the U.S. version? Yeah. He will fucking wake up under Manhattan and come out and tell you that story. Matthew Broderick. (laughs) Tracking. The only thing I can remember about that... (laughs) <laughs> the only thing I can remember about that was that horrible P. Diddy, Puff Daddy song oh, where they yeah. sampled cashmere. That destroyed, yeah. yeah, yeah and then like, was. and Jimmy Page was cool with it. He was in the video and all this is Puff Daddy going, come with me, over and over. Yeah. That's the only thing I remember about that Godzilla movie and Rubber Godzilla. I was saying, the only thing I remember is Rubber Godzilla. Rubber Godzilla. You said we forgot... Rubber, the fifth member of our panel. Yeah. Rubber, rubber Godzilla is like the greatest thing ever. Yes, next to uh, Vag Patch is a Rubber Godzilla. He's the fifth member of our panel. Call him Zilla. His, you can call him Zilla. You can actually, he prefers God. Yeah. But you can call him. You can call him uh, Zilla if you'd like. 
I think they're taking a picture of him right now. I think that's what's mm-hmm. happening. For for the internet, for posterity, for posterity, <laughs> there, is no, there is nothing Got posterious it. about. Pos- is that even a word? Posterious? I don't know. Pos- per- posterous? Po- posterious? Posterity. If YOLO can be recognized as a fucking word, if YOLO <laughs> was that Yolo. introduced into the dictionary recently? Yo- was YOLO introduced into the dictionary? I think so. I don't want to be on this planet. Uh, GIF was the word of the year last year. GIF, like the moving pictures, the GIF, yeah. GIF, <laughs> GIF, moving pictures, the moving pictures. <laughs> Movies. <laughs> movies. Oh, movies. Oh, movies. I want to go back to that. I want to. Ta- we call them talkies. <laughs> I want to go back to like, hey baby, you want to go see a moving picture? Right? <laughs> Let's see what a talk is. They're out here they're in color now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, got black, I got a black and white TV. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla is hitting himself. Now. He has. So, he's trying to quit smoking. Yeah. Is he? <laughs> so he's having little problems. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So, Seth, you're familiar with the friend zone, right? Oh, yeah, we had a topic. Yeah, we have a yeah. topic. This is yeah. why, instead of having five topics per podcast, we only have one. All right, so the friend zone. You're familiar with the friend zone. Tell us about the friend zone. Like, is it right next to Narnia? Maybe next to Middle Earth and right underneath the, the kingdoms from uh, Game of Thrones? It's underneath the kingdoms from Game of Thrones <laughs> <It's> in hell. <laughs> hell. Straight enough, though. Uh, strange enough, though. Straight uh, enough. Straight enough. Straight. Straight, 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 straight about anybody in this room. No. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Rubber Godzilla. <laughs> and he's... Something <laughs> 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 But, uh, strange enough, though, uh, Narnia and, uh, Lord of the Rings and Middle Earth are strange enough, uh, surefire ways to get into the friend zone. They're like, they're, sure. they're gateways. Well, along, along they're the, gateway drugs. Along to the friend zone. Game of Thrones. <laughs> if you know anything about the Game of Thrones, the Chronicles of Narnia, or, or who works with Tolkien, you're going into the friend zone. Yes. It's, they don't want anything to do with They you. don't want... I, I don't know. I actually think... I don't understand how it's fair. I don't understand how if a guy puts a woman into a friend zone, he's a player, but if a girl puts a guy into a friend zone... She just wants to be friends. Yeah. I think the whole friend zone conundrum is complete, utter, and bullshit nonsense. You think it's bullshit nonsense? I do. I do. Let's hear it. Okay. So, if a woman is nice to you for any reason, she automatically has to put out? No. No, no, that's not. That's, that's, not a, case that's exactly what the friend zone no, is. No, that's you not the friend zone. You can't be friends with them. That's not the friend zone. That's, that's not what we're talking We're talking about a woman who is clearly leading you on, is clearly acting like she's interested in you, and then she finds somebody else, and instead of letting you down, she just is just done with you. Like, she drops you like a bad hat. Oh, we can just be friends. I think that shit should be punishable or, by prison. Have you asked her? She, okay. Or she knows how you feel about her, and yet she continues to lay all her problems at your feet. Yeah. Um, like you're her First of her all, friend. did you ask her? Yes. If, did she say, yes, I like you, but I don't want to date you? Yes. Then, then she doesn't want to fucking date you. But that's still cruel. No. That's still no, cruel. She is a living, breathing human being. No, I disagree. Not to, she does I not date you. I disagree. I'm that. so sorry that your dick makes you king of the world and bitches can't not date you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I'm trying to put on my feminist pants, bro. This is Did you put on your feminist pants? I took off my pants when I came in the door. <laughs> because my dick makes me king of the world. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, you men and your disgusting penises. What? You uh, showed us a picture of a dick with four prongs on it. It hit the penis, and that's because it's fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Why did God create that? What is the purpose of in the I penis. Have to put it in there so it can't come out. <laughs> <laughs> she can't run away. <laughs> that, and you know what? Pima will never be friend zone because she'll never put it in the penis. Yeah, exactly. That's how he does it in the friend zone. Yeah. Once he sticks it in, it's, she's fucked. It's locked in, buddy. It's locked in. <laughs> he turns that shit like the temple of doom. Yeah. <laughs> Got it, bud. <laughs> You brought in bitch you're just fucking yourself. This is gonna tear out your insides. Nobody else is gonna want you. <laughs> oh god. I think I think that if they do that to you and they work you up, it should be punishable by jail time. Pause. Okay. Okay, we're recording again. Are we recording again? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, we had to. Okay, for people who are listening, we had to stop to make sure we were in fact recording. And you missed that rubber Godzilla friend zone B at some point in October. <laughs> <laughs> and I think she is in fact upset about it. So. 
No. So she became a, an angry feminist. She's a lesbian now. Because, <laughs> because how else don't remember Godzilla? Yeah. Feminism equals lesbianism. <laughs> is lesbianism a term? Yes. Okay. It is a term. Lesbianism. Feminism does not... Feminist does not equal lesbian. Because I, there, are, there are men feminists too. Are, I'm a man feminist. I'm a, a mammonist. A mammonist? <laughs> mammonist. That a makes mammonist. me sound like I stand for mammary rights. That's what Gary said. <laughs> A man loves the memories. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I spread, support breast cancer awareness. You know, you give free Do screenings. It. <laughs> Do it for the movies. I got a van out behind Kroger. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I think you may have breast cancer. Maybe. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure you're clean. Yeah. <laughs> Come back next Tuesday. <laughs> actually, have you guys ever seen uh, how a breast cancer screening actually goes? I know they put the boob in some sort of machine. Yeah, and it literally just like flattens out your boob. Yes. Yeah. It looks very painful. It is. It's this is coming painful. from a man that has man cans. Man cans. <laughs> as they are so affectionately called moobs. Moobs. <laughs> yes. That's like my favorite word. Everybody in this room has moobs. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Except for Danny, who would in fact have moobs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. And, you know, men can get breast cancer. Oh, yeah. Shaft. Shaft. Shaft died from breast cancer. Shaft. Seriously? Like Richard Roundtree, yes. Told him. Did not know that? He, yes. was a, he was a bad mother. He watch your mouth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Before there was Samuel L. Jackson, there was Richard Motherfucking Roundtree. Did you know that the the black couple, the Django and his wife, yeah. are shafts like great 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 grandparents? Really? Yeah, they're like uh, what was her name? Broomhilda of Shaft. Oh, really? Yeah. And there's a reference to one of the characters from I think. Pulp Fiction, right? It was Reservoir Dogs in Django Unchained also. Hmm. That was an awesome movie. That was an awesome movie. I, yeah. have not I bet Quentin Tarantino's never been friend zoned. Fuck no. Ooh. That motherfucker's likely not to be friend zoned. <laughs> Is he? But you know what? He's fucking brilliant. <laughs> yeah, he's brilliant, so he'll never be friend zoned. Fuck yeah. But I still think, like I said earlier, that it should be punishable by jail time in certain instances, but you don't have to, you don't get to sit in your side. When you're sent to jail for friend zoning someone, in extreme cases, you should be put in the opposite gender's population. Because so, then you have to tell them why you were friend So, by friend zoning, you mean for every gender and not just women, right? Yes, yes. Okay. I, yeah. I'm just saying, I've experienced it with women because I. But you're a big boo hoo cry they're, baby, they're, so. They're, they're cute. cute. <laughs> There, I mean, yes, oh, I mean, this they, is your breakfast cereal. I will shit in your breakfast cereal. The problem, the problem, the problem we have with feminism today <laughs> is that you have shows like The View and The Talk, where it's just women just crapping on everything about. I men. fucking hate The View. Holy shit! No, exactly. I don't want to listen to him squat for an hour and a half. Squat. <laughs> but the thing they is, the, the thing is, I mean, a lot of women they listen to that and they watch that and they think I'm a feminist. Um, because I believe on that, you know, and it's just no. they don't realize they're discriminating as well against men. Yeah, and, and do you think that the friend zone stems from that? Uh, it might. I think it the might. friend zone stems from Boohoo Crybabies. <laughs> I'm not a Boohoo Crybaby. <laughs> she changed her mind. She didn't want you. Sorry. I don't. I just don't see it as fair. It's not. But when a guy does the same thing, it's not fair either. No, because. I don't get no. It's the feminine side of it. The, 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 the guy that does the friend zoning is usually the guy that the girl goes after when she puts the other guy in, in the friend zone. Yeah. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, if in 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 your view, in the feminine view, and I have pretty much all my friends are female, except for the people sitting in the room. Thanks. Excluding D. Excluding D. Because well, I found out your friend and I'm your well, sister. Yeah, you're my sibling. You don't count as a friend. I have to like you. It's a, it's <laughs> if I chosen Bible. anybody else. It's in the Bible. The <laughs> friend zone's probably in the Bible. Yeah. And Mary Magdalene said unto Jesus, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I like you as a person at all. Yeah. Well, really. uh, I like to talk to you about my jackass boyfriend. Yeah. So we pause, I gotta talk to my... Girlfriend. Oh, he has a phone call coming in. He, he, he obviously wasn't friend zone. Okay, we have to pre- pause it. <laughs> no, 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 we're going to listen to his phone call. Yeah, we're going to listen to his damn conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he going outside? Jackass. Is he going outside? No, nope, not yet. No, he's in the kitchen. He's fleeing. He's hiding. Is he? Uh, me, Seth, Chris, and Demi. <laughs> we, we can hear him. Yeah. My sister. Chris. No, 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 not Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Benny! 
<laughs> Man, he's probably some guy she friends out a few years <laughs> back. <laughs> The damn friend zone. You know, it sounds like the friend zone would be a store where you could buy, like, friends related material. I know, right? Like those little, like, heart necklaces that, like, 12 year old girls we, buy. We could, Best friend. We could sell cards for women to, for, for j- people. people to buy to give to people who want to put the friends zone. I like you. I like you, but I don't like you like that. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. You, I like you on the front with, like, flowers and shit. Yeah. And then you open it, but not like that. Yeah. Not in that way. And it plays sad music. Yeah. <laughs> plays <laughs> Mad World by Gary Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Instrumental. Yeah. Dun, 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 That's true. <laughs> That's a fucking million dollar idea. That is a million dollar idea. And we're just going to, and we just put it on the internet. Yeah, guys. fuck. Thanks. We can edit that out. <laughs> we're going to have to edit all kinds <laughs> of shit out. I know, right? You're in charge of that. I got other shit I got to yeah. do. I got like a Sims family that needs constant attention. <laughs> Like, I'm playing from Skyrim. You pulled me away from that to do this shit? I pulled her away from Skyrim. I guess we could take a break from the topic since since he's outside yeah, but being berated for having a dick. I'd say it's what's yeah. taking place yeah. right now. Yeah. He is being berated. Fuck you guys and your penises. You think you're so great. <laughs> we fucking are great. You're not. I'll tell you what. Females don't have Satan's trident for dick. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's, that's an echidna. <laughs> that's the uh, same. If you've got an echidna penis, I understand why you've been friend zone. <laughs> I wish I did, damn it. Come on. I love you and all. You're totally so fine. It's much easier. But if you've got an akin to penis, ain't nobody going near that. Uh, koalas have four t- penises, and and female koalas have two vaginas. Why? Uh, so they can do it in trees, I guess. What the fuck is that? <laughs> they can do it in trees! Can't fucking, like, cheetahs do it in trees? I don't think cheetahs do it in trees. There's some little ass trees in Africa. That's, that's fucking weird. Cheetahs do do I have to Google that shit? Why do koalas have multiple sex organs? <laughs> multiple sex organs? It's gonna make it seem like there's like a French whore playing a little organ. Fucking <laughs> 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 the Cleveland show. I don't. The, all I think of is somebody who says two vaginas. I think of the episode where their kids run away t- and they go to the whorehouse. And they end up in, the, in upstairs with two Virgin Merlene. <laughs> two Virgin Merlene? <laughs> and fucking Cleveland Jr. You're standing there. She's sitting on the back of her legs up and he's going, Eeny, eeny, my Nemo. <laughs> two Virgin Merlene. Two Virgin Merlene. He's upstairs with two Virgin Merlene. <laughs> two Virgin Merlene. I'm just. I, hey, Swaths have sex in under five seconds. Because they're lazy. I mean, that's the only thing they do fast. I can imagine that Seth is also like that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rope. just saying, Seth, if you have a kid in peace, I know you why. Got, you, you, you've been dating your woman for a while now. Have you been friend zoned yet? He's going to make an official friend zone. Yeah, because once you get married, <laughs> once you get married, that's the official friend zone. <laughs> she's, got you, she's got you for as long as she wants you, and you're not getting any. That's the friend zone. You got to buy her shit and <laughs> make her happy and buy her shit and pay her bills, and you're not getting any. I can't think of a worse version of the friend zone. That's like. That's horrible. That's like Hallmark friend zone. It's like Hallmark friend zone. <laughs> uh, so what? At the Hallmark friend zone, all the cards are the exact same but overpriced, but you can get irritating glass trinkets that nobody wants? You got that, that's that's a door we're going to open. That's the kind of there's store we're going to open. There's the friend zone, and then there's Hallmark friend zone. Hallmark. After you sell out, you know. We'll have, we'll have two, two versions of the store. Yeah, Hallmark will start carrying friend zone shit. Oh, yeah, well, we won't get our own store set. We'll be a vendor. Like, <laughs> fucking buy three friend zone cards, get a free box of tissues. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> buy two friend zone you know, cards. Uh, on Valentine's Day, get two friend zone cards and get some tissues and some Vaseline. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be lonely no more. <laughs> Rob Thomas. <laughs> Rob Thomas. <laughs> Play in the background. Oh, God. That's not how Rob Thomas is. Rob Thomas sings like this. Yeah. Like, there's a difference. It's the greatest thing ever. Uh, he brilliant. Yeah. Her diamonds all the... I don't even know that fucking song. I just know something about her diamonds, and it's a metaphor for her tears, and it's all fucking knows, cheesy. All I know is that he's, he I, said it, it's 3 a.m., and he's lonely. <laughs> it's I, not I, a friend zone. Think about it. She kicked him out. So, <laughs> Isn't that about his mom? Is it about his mom? I thought the song was about his mom. That's a fucking awkward relationship to have with your mom. 
I I'm gonna be honest. I really fucking love Rob Thomas from Matchbox Twenty. Do you? I do. I really. I, I do. He did. That, he did that song with Carlos Santana. Yeah, if you do a song with Carlos Santana, you're instantly absolved for that song. Like, didn't the lead singer of Nickelback do a song with Carlos Santana? Don't 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 <laughs> solely Carlos Santana. Don't you bring <laughs> dark <laughs> songs. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He did what? Stephen Tyler also done. Did he? Yeah. I've never heard the one Stephen Tyler done. I don't think so. Sometimes I forget I decided to do this with a group of 12 year old boys. <laughs> Sometimes we forget we decided to do it with a feminist lesbian. <laughs> I'm not a lesbian! And she gave no, I'm all about gay well, rights. In, in, your, in, in our defense, we may be 12 year old boys, but you're the one that's giving us alcohol. <laughs> I didn't bring it! I didn't bring it! You just bought it and gave it to minors, you sick fuck! <laughs> Cross. What are you gonna do? Take us out to your candy full of van, van full of candy. <laughs> candy full of van. Candy full of van. Oh God, it's a goddamn jawbreaker. Yeah. You open up a bunch of van, vans van, just tumble yeah. out. You're gonna take us out to your van full of candy, rape us, and then friend zone us. Is that yes, what you're do? yes, I fucking am because that's what you deserve. That's what lesbian feminists do. <laughs> Close that shit off like the temple of doom. <laughs> 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 I used to do that shit to Cody. I just wait till he's distracted and then just reach over slowly. Cody, Ma. She did that to me one day. I almost pissed myself. Like, <laughs> I he was just sitting in his computer. I fucking go in there. He doesn't hear me because he has headphones on. And I just slowly reach around and start pressing it to his chest. Dang, dude. <laughs> She's like, Cody, Ma. I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm freaking out because I got no idea what's going on in my knee. Oh, she's going to take my heart out. I'm going to die here. <laughs> and this bitch just put me in the friend zone. Oh, God. So, Mr. Nope. <laughs> Mr. Nope. You yeah. glanced at her shit and said she's a nope. Yep. <laughs> you are our resident friend zone expert. Yes. Could you walk us through the emotional state of the friend zone? Fuck. Fuck. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's that's probably not too far off. Have you, I mean, when you... <laughs> he can't even think of coherent questions. Yeah. He just wants to call all women bitches and go to bed. I do not want to call all women bitches. Not all women are bitches. No, just not. you. <laughs> they can't see that, that oh, your right face, but yeah. the amount of fucks they give about your opinion of me is about none. It's about none. Give or take a uh, minuscule amount. If you get in my pocket, you'll be able to pull out all the fucks I give. It's a very tiny pocket. <laughs> he says with his whole hand that's inside yeah. his fucking Com- pocket. My- and it goes down to like his fucking knee. Yeah. Yeah. He's compensating. The number yeah. of fucks, <laughs> take the number of fucks you give times it by zero. That's the number of fucks I give. <laughs> Alright, well, you take the number of fucks you give. Divide it by zero. And that's the number of fucks I get. That's an irrational number. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that's irrational. So, someone's learning something in their college class. Yeah. <laughs> I quit college. <laughs> After they said you couldn't divide by zero, I quit. <laughs> like, uh, fuck that. Why <laughs> well, they teach me anything? I imagine if you do divide by zero, the ground just opens <laughs> up. Yeah. Lucifer comes up and he tells you that hell is the friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> Hell is the friend zone if it is given to you by Anne Hathaway and Jennifer Aniston at the same time. Like, yeah. no. I have such a girl crush on Anne Hathaway. I love that woman. Well, I got a girl crush on Anne Hathaway, too. You don't have a girl crush on anything. <laughs> what? You have a dick. You don't get girl crushes. I'll tell you what. Yes, I do. No, you don't. <laughs> so, no, you no. get crushes on girls. It's a fucking difference. So, I, sometimes I feel giddy. There, there are some, I mean, there are some times that you, know, you crush on a woman that you have no intentions of having sex with. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So what if she had intentions of having sex with you and then you just friend zone her? Well, you know. You can't bitch about the friend zone and then simultaneously friend zone people. That's the work that way. That makes you an asshole. No, that's not. That's it's not an that. endless cycle. It's an endless cycle. They guys, 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 it's a vicious cycle. Girls who cut bitches who turn good guys into dicks who in turn friend zone other girls. Wait, did you say the girls friend zoned other girls? Because we're yes, getting back on that. Yes, we do. We're getting back on that lesbian over here. I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> uh, yeah. I hate you guys so much. <laughs> I hate you guys. I hate you guys. Fuck you guys. I hate you guys. I can't go home. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I, so what we've summated today on our our topic. 
is that Carlos Santana has never been friend zoned. <laughs> Carlos Santana has never been friend zoned. Tim Burton is a product of a friend zone. <laughs> Steven Tyler will chase you with his walker <laughs> in a wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> Sloss, wow, wow. Sloss have five sex in five seconds to avoid the friend zone. Yeah. <laughs> The kid knows to make sure you never get away from the <laughs> zone. Because they lock that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> and overall, Danny is a lesbian in the friend zone. It's unfair. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. We've been at this for 30 minutes. And already I hate you guys. <laughs> Will you be coming back next week? Yes. <laughs> shit, my computer would sleep. <laughs> Probably got tired of hearing your lesbian pivot and babble over there. It's like, oh, yawn. Oh, yawn. I don't know where you guys sleep, but I know where you work, and I know where you sleep. You're off the hook, because I don't know you that well. <laughs> That's right. Badge patch. Badge patch. Private investigator. <laughs> <laughs> Can find any really? man because he looks like every man. Yeah, I, I just never realized private investigator could be a double on Tommy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I investigate else, privates. Yeah. <laughs> Indiscriminately. <laughs> Indiscriminately. Let me see that. <laughs> That's the, the slang. <laughs> that I was going to say the the slang for a private eye is dick. <laughs> dick. <laughs> Badge pad slash dick cushion. <laughs> I have this. Uh, which I mean, this this may not be appropriate. This might be the topic for another another podcast. But it's called the wear dick. The, the, the were dick? dick? Were dick. Kind of like, like a werewolf, except it's a were dick. It's like where a guy, you know, just all of a sudden has this inner urge to just lash out and be a dick and shit on everybody. <laughs> That's me every day. Next time on Swapcast, <laughs> the were dick. The were dick. Yeah. All right, I guess that is it for today. I'm Chris. This is Danny over here. She's a lesbian. I'm oh, God damn it. <laughs> Mr. Nope is Seth. Vash Patch is Jeremy. Vash Patch Adams. Vash Patch Adams. Email address slothcast at gmail.com. If you can't figure that out on your own, that's fucking sad. I don't need to spell it out for you. We'll see you guys next time.